Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rezondu if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. Today I'm going to be testing two products that I recently bought from the Sephora sale. I have the Glowish Huda, Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder and the Gucci, I can never pronounce this, Rouge de Beauté Brilliant Lipstick in Linnet Stone. But before we get into that, I wanted to quickly mention my sponsor for today's video, and that is Ana Luisa Jewelry. So Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that I absolutely love. I've worked with them quite a few times now. Ana Luisa is actually having their biggest sale of the year starting November 1. Everything on the entire website is 20% off, which is such a great deal before Christmas. Get yourself a little gift, mum, dad, best friend, sister, and you can find this with my shoppable link down below. And I don't make a commission off it, but it is traceable to me just to let me know that you shopped through my link. I'll have all the details down below of what I am wearing. I'm wearing these beautiful earrings here. Oh, they're my new favorite earrings. Uh, they are the Paris earrings. And then I've also got this ear cuff. This is my second ear cuff from Ana Luisa because I love the first one that I owned. And this is called the Onda Ear Cuff, 14 karat gold on sterling silver. Silver. So all of their jewelry is rust free. Um, so whether it's gold plated um, or sterling silver, really good quality at affordable prices. So I've gone for a more simple look, uh, but they have your everyday jewelry, which is what I'm a fan of. They have more statement jewelry. They've got a little bit of everything for everyone. So I highly recommend just checking them out. Um, the link is down below and it is associated to my name uh, and it'll have everything there. It'll convert to your country's prices as well. You'll be able to see the sustainable packaging as I unboxed the uh, jewelry for you. And it's just so simple to the point. And also the bags are reusable to travel with your jewelry in a very easy to open access and safe way to travel with your jewelry. So I highly re recommend checking them out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so let's get started uh, with the makeup. So what I'm going to do is, I'm really just going to showcase these two and I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera. Uh, but what I wanna do with the powder, um, I got the shade Fair Light and it looks like a little bit darker than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, but that's okay because I do gradual tan sometimes. Um, so I could definitely use it in those instances. But what I wanted to do is use just the powder on one side of my face um, with no primer or anything. And then I'm gonna use a tinted moisturizer on the other side and use this as like a setting powder so we can see the difference and what I actually prefer the look of. Um, and then we'll use the beautiful lipsticky. Um, all that I have on my face is my sunscreen for today because it's gonna be a scorcher. Um, it's the ultraviolet lean screen, which is the mineral mattifying sunscreen um, And I find that it just sits nice and natural on the skin so it doesn't um, Change the effect of the makeup. So that's why I'm wearing this one today in terms of a brush The Huda Beauty. I kind of wish I bought it. It looks like a really nice brush um, They just used I might use something like this. It might be a little bit too fluffy, but we'll see how we go uh, the Huda Beauty one had looked a little bit fluffy with the powder, but it looked maybe a little bit more on the denser side. I don't know if I have a comparable one. I guess I do, but I need to wash it. <laughs> so maybe not. Anyway, we'll start with this. If it's not good, I'll find another brush. But all I want to do is just go in and I'm going to do it on this side. Because I watched her video where she said you can wear it as a foundation or as like a setting powder. This is actually working. Because I often don't wear powders as foundation because I have a drier skin type and I find it just makes me look cakey. So maybe a fluffy brush is more suitable because it will go on a bit lighter. I also want to see the comparison between the two. I think this is a darker shade than my skin type, but like I said, I'm actually not bothered by that because a lot of my powders are quite light and this one can be a nice natural warmth 
warm up the face without it looking too dark. So it's definitely got that luminosity. I need to zoom you up. That's better, you can probably see now. And I thought that this powder would be, I would like it because I am drier and a lot of powders look dry on me. But this one is supposed to be luminous. I can see what they mean about how luminous it actually is. Can you kind of see here, if we compare the two, how kind of shiny it looks in there? It's an interesting powder. But I actually kind of like how natural it looks on my skin whilst giving me a bit of a glow. I thought about putting the glowish skin tint underneath and I was like, that's going to be too disco ball-y with that and the powder. So, because I had that and I decided against that. But if we look between the two, I think it's just a very nice natural... I actually really like it. I do feel like I would like a little bit less here but i would go in with concealer anyway which i will do i feel like it's a little bit too shiny here but everywhere else i like the shine okay let's do the other side i've got my laura mercier um, oil free tinted moisturizer in shade 1w1 porcelain this is the old packaging but it's just a nice light coverage Okay, so here we are before the powder application. This is just the tint of moisturizer. Let's go in with some of this. I really like using this fluffy brush. I would never have thought to use it if I'm honest with you. Okay, so if I'm looking, I feel like, yeah, there's just a little bit more coverage and it's a little bit more even skin toned but it has a similar finish. I don't feel like the tinted moisturizer has greatly affected the outcome in terms of the finish, but it's given it just that little bit more coverage. So here we have very natural. I'm sure if you used a denser brush, it would be more coverage, but I think because of the luminosity, you don't want it to be too, too too much coverage because you are going to get that kind of disco ball effect. I can see why oily people would not like this. Right here is the problem area, same as this side. So what I'm going to do is put some concealer on. So I'm just going to use my Jouer um, Essential Coverage Concealer. Okay, so I've got my concealer on now. And in a normal world, you do concealer first, but because I was seeing how it looked right on the skin, I guess it's not my usual. I don't think I'm going to go in with this under the eye. I think it's going to be too much powder because I've got the powder underneath. So that concealer has helped with the... Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder so I can see how it looks. <laughs> um, you can see on this side that little bit of concealer has actually made it really nice. Still light, but wearable. And then we've got that, just a little bit more coverage on this side. So the powder has coverage, but it's not heavy coverage. It's that luminosity that can be an issue if you don't like that. If you are dry skin, you might actually like this. Like I said, I don't wear powder foundations. And when I wear powder, it is quite minimal because I am dry. And this does look quite nice on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. So what I'm going to do is do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll come back for the lipstick. Okay, so if you're interested in any of the makeup details I am wearing, I'll have it listed down below. But just a quick review, I've got this NARS face palette. It's called Summer Lights. I think it was limited edition. So I'm using these eyeshadows, the bronzer and the highlight today. So nice and easy. And then just my blush is the Moira Sunflower Beauty Duo. Um, so I focus on the yellow and dab a little bit of the red and it just gives that really nice summery blush look But main event Gucci. So I have the shade Rouge uh, Sorry, it's called Rouge Debut Debute Brilliant. My shade is 113 Linnet Stone And this is a glow and care lip color And I mean come on so this is my first Gucci lipstick that I own 
and the color and the packaging and the fact that it's a nice sheer lipstick really spoke to me. I do love a brownie toned sheer lipstick. Um, I think they look quite beautiful because they're not too heavy, um, but they still give that nice um, bit of color. So I'm not going to wear any lip liner. I just want to see how this looks alone. And if I do want to get a lip liner, I'll go get it. But it's nice and sheer. So I don't think we need it. So nicely fragrance. It's not heavy, but it's pleasant. Oh my God. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. It feels so comfortable on the lips. No lip liner needed. This is a handbag lipstick for me. 100%. This is going in my handbag. Oh my god. I think I'm in love. So overall, I think the lipstick kind of speaks for itself. It's just a beautiful, easy wear lipstick. Um, and I'll have that link down below. Now I want more. That's the problem. This color is just perfect. Oh, it's everything that I was expecting it to be. But in terms of the powder, I have my thoughts. As I'm applying all the rest of my makeup, I actually really like the side that has no tint and moisturizer underneath. I think as I've built the products over the top of it, it looks a little bit more natural and I kind of like it. This side got, I would say a little bit drier. It looks drier on this side and a little bit cakier on this side. I actually like putting the concealer over after. That is just a little mistake that I, like an accidental win, I should say. Um, in the fact that there was powder underneath when I put the concealer on top, it kind of self-set. Um, and I didn't feel the need that I had to put on any more powder. Um, the concealer has just set itself. So I actually kind of liked doing that um, especially if I'm going to wear just the powder on this side and then putting a little bit of concealer at the top works just perfectly fine that is everything let's zoom out that is everything and I just want to remind you guys to check out my Ana Luisa link down below uh, if there's any of these pieces that you're interested in they'll be featured there um, it's a nice cohesive look all together and I'm really enjoying this whole look uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up Subscribe if you are new here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye